So if you grew up as one of the original Magic YouTubers, which I was, you knew that Boogie2988 during that time period, this was when YouTube was still in its infancy, was massive for Magic the Gathering. Uh, he was the biggest Magic the Gathering content creator. His Francis character has the very famous, I don't know, meme or video clip of him getting mad and playing Magic and flipping the table. He did open Magic cards from time to time and he actually did enjoy the job. Or he enjoyed the game a ton. Not a job. I don't know why I would associate Buggy2998 with having a job. But uh, here we are today. And he is talking about Magic the Gathering yet again. So Magic the Gathering has come up a lot in his recent videos due to the fact that people have asked him, why don't you just sell your Magic Collection? You owe all this money. Just sell your Magic Collection. Sell your Magic Collection. Sell your Magic Collection. And that begs for the... That was a really good question. They asked him in that really famous documentary with over a million views. They asked... Uh, Caleb Hammer asked him and even this morning I was watching Caleb Han Hammer's second channel where it, the, the, the uh, video's title I confronted Boogie2988 about crypto scam. So if you know Boogie2988, he is engulfed in a crypto scam. He promoted something called Fatty Coin. He was paid $5,000 up front. And according to this recent video, he's expecting another $5,000 pending. Um, and, and then obviously got to keep the coin as well. Uh, he has said many times, he's actually compared this crypto coin to Magic the Gathering in a very un, un, uh, not, not a great light. So I'm going to play you the clip right now. This is pretty bizarre and, you know, we're going to talk about why this is not true. People lose money when they buy Magic the Gathering cards. People lose money when they buy Beanie Babies. People lose money when they buy a pet rock. Uh, you're losing money when you purchase just about anything. So that's Boogie's view on Magic the Gathering. He views it as losing money. He views it as a pet rock, beanie babies, and obviously his crypto scam, Fatty Coin. It's just wild. Um, it's just wild. He went from being a really great ambassador for Magic the Gathering. I remember when he gave me a shout out when I was a newer channel called New Law Student, and that really did help. That really did give me a few dozen subscribers, which was a huge at the time. And he was a he was a voice for Magic the Gathering, and and now he's Boogie, right? I mean, it's kind of devolved into something that I can't I can't even recognize, to be honest with you. Like I just don't know who this guy is. Um, he used to be the Mister Rogers, and and now I mean. Yeah, I mean, wow. Um, so my my um, the reason I'm making this video is I'm gonna give you some advice. Uh, take it as life advice. As when you are in the pits, you need to stop. You need to sell your magic collection, and even if you don't want to sell it to me, I offer highest buy list plus ten percent even now. You need to just sell it because then you won't buy more of it. So in Boogie's documentary, the main problem is he sells his magic, he sells his Gaius Cradle so he can enter a draft. Whenever you are buying magic cards, the magic cards you currently buy don't hold a candle to Gaius Cradle. Gaius Cradle. Let's call it Gaius Cradle. Uh, the Gaius Cradle that you have that you sold for $200 at a time is 500 buy lists, so 700 easy sell on eBay. Yeah, that's not like to buy a few gaming supplies in a draft. The store is never going to make it go. It's never going to be, be a good deal if you go to the store and then you spend it on modern products. Modern products compared to something like Gaius Cradle has no value. Has such little value and then to do a one-to-one -one trade. So many reasons, the, the, the reason that people sell their magic collections, I can tell you as someone who buys a lot, is often to fund their magic addiction. It's crazy. They sell their most valuable cards so they can buy and draft a new set, and the new set sucks, man. Like, you're selling your dual land, what, so you can buy Assassin's Creed collector box? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, this is ludicrous. 
You're selling your dual land so you can buy Lord of the Rings. No matter how great Lord of the Rings is, I guarantee you there's not a card called Underground Sea or even even something playable. Like it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, and I, I tell them all the time when they, when they come to my store, hey, this doesn't make sense what you're doing. I had um, a person and they went and they wanted to um, open some boxes and I know I know them. I know that their rent is due at the beginning of the month and I said, you know, I, I don't want to. You guys shouldn't do that. And no matter how much you tell them, they just they just do it. And I, I don't get it. So they're selling all their most valuable magic assets, right? Their dual lands, their power nine, just so to open packs. And that's what Boogie is. You know, Boogie sells his magic cards only to buy more magic cards. But the magic cards, unfortunately, that he the, the the ones that you can sell are the really valuable ones, the very liquid ones. They're the easy ones to sell. The ones that you can buy are just trash. They're absolute garbage now. In terms of value, I'm not saying you know all creativity and diversity. It's all good stuff, but in terms of value, you take the old stuff over the new stuff. The new stuff has almost zero value long term, in my personal opinion, because they'll just keep reprinting it or make better versions of it. But you know something like the duel. I always use the duels as an example, but you can use City of Traders. You can use Survivor to fit. There, there are a lot of Gears Cradle. That's type of stuff, man. Like, that's the type of, like... So I would say that, like, when... If you do want to sell, sell everything. And just get out. Because this is a loop. This is a never-ending loop. I've seen on repeat just all the time. Uh, it reminds me a lot of payday loans or shark loans and something like that. It's, um... Sad. And I, I do wish... I really wish people had better financial education. Um, I wish I, ha I had better financial education, to be honest with you, when I was younger. Uh, financial in education is not high on what they teach in high school or even college. You don't sell a premier asset just to buy more shitty assets. Like you know, like you don't sell a house that is a million dollars to buy fifty houses that are you know, twenty thousand dollars each. Those twenty thousand dollar houses are going to be really difficult to resell. And and that's the whole idea of the buy list, if you understand it. Uh, a buy list on let's say underground C is a thousand dollars. And oh the buy list will at least be five hundred, six hundred on the underground C, fifty, sixty percent, which is pretty high. But a five dollar card, the buy list might be only a dollar. So if you take actually the percentage that people are paying if you take a $2 card, it might be $0.25 cents for the buy list. Because it's harder to sell, it is harder to transact, and you have to sell more of them to make up the value in terms of, you know, if you sell one underground, you buy you buy list for $500, you sell it for $700. So it's $200 up. Now, how many $0.25 cent cards do you need to sell? Or how many $1 cards do you need to sell to recoup that $200 up? A lot. A lot. Anyway... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.